What is cranking wieners? Welcome back to Camp Claw. It's good to see you, it's good to have you. It's another beautiful day up here in Maine. We figured we'd take advantage of and film a video for y'all. Today's an exciting one, very pumped for today's video, only because we are doing another pond restoration video. The pond has been doing good. We've been getting a lot of rain in Maine, and I figured we'd use today as an opportunity to film a video for y'all. A lot has been going on up here in Maine since I last updated you guys. For example, the RZR is doing a lot better. Here's the piece that uh, Peric so generously ripped off for me. It obviously is, uh, you know, it's cracked, but at least we got it back on there. She's looking a little bit better. We did get a new piece ordered for the orange regrets, so that is good. We also got some spare tires for not only the RZR, but we also got some for the workmobile, the Can-Am. Here is the 30 inch tire for the Polaris. And then we've got this smaller one. I don't know what size this is, but that's obviously for that. And the spare tire is actually gonna go on the back right here. Very nice and convenient. I don't know if you guys saw this in Perrick's video or whatever, but I blew a tire like my third day of owning this thing, I went and sent it a little bit too hard. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to get a spare. I don't know where I'm gonna mount just yet, but things are great, things are good. We've got a very exciting episode, so stick with us, stay tuned, and let's have a day. <clears throat> What's happening? Videos are uploading. Ooh. We got videos this week. We do. It's been a while since we <laughs> uploaded a video. You're really dark, by the way. Uh, Shout out to Cannon. Oh, oh, Wiener. I see you, Wiener. How you doing? Did you upload any videos today? Did you get any videos uploaded? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she just hit her head on the camera. <laughs> Lucky, you're so sad. She's a little goofball. So I'm thinking once you're done with that. I am. Another one bites the dust. After you do that, we'll go We'll go into town. We'll go grab some stuff. And we'll just have... Have a nice day of it. Sounds good. Oh wait, I actually have to do something. If you wanna, when you're done with that, help me out with this. You know, I really like the color orange that the razor came in, but I think it needs a little more white, maybe a little more blue, and then like a hint of, I think, red. So, I think I have just a solution. What do you think? Did I get big enough flags? America. America, baby. <laughs> I love this. All right, let's see if this works. I've seen guys do this on Instagram. I'm sure I'm doing it completely wrong, but we'll give it a shot anyway. I'll be right back. As if this thing isn't loud enough, I figure we just put two giant freedom flags in the back. How good is this gonna be? I'm just gonna put it over the paint so when I put the um, uh, grip pipe something, yeah, it doesn't scratch the paint, you know what I'm saying? So it'll just grip around via. You'll see, just trust me on this one, Al. What are these called pipe, pipe fittings, I think? I don't know, I'm not a handy guy. This one's gonna go right here, I reckon. I got an idea. Give me a second. I don't really think this through. I never really think anything through. I almost have it. I mean, that's really not gonna go anywhere. I don't think so either. <laughs> I felt my phone vibrate. I don't even have my phone in my pocket. Hey, drop a comment. D do you think your phone's vibrating in your pocket when you don't have your phone in your pocket? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, John. I'm also addicted to cellular devices. Oh my God, look at her. She's beautiful. That looks actually really sick. Like once we get this thing up and running, <laughs> this is probably one of my better ideas. B -b 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 Janky John, it's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> yeah, so sick, man. So sick. <laughs> Where's she at? Dude, my <laughs> my dog is so far under the BRP right now. What the hell are you doing down there, noodle beans? Come on, what are you doing under there? That is not a good place for a wiener dog. That is not, under heavy machinery, there should be no wiener dogs present. All right, while we rip this thing around, I'm gonna put the wings inside safe and sound. I love you. <laughs> Let's get it. Life is what you make it. I feel like amazing. I can't see a way was fun if you uh if you like planting grass and you live in Maine hit me up <laughs> I keep saying I don't want to destroy the lawn but 
I've got this, and I've got a Can-Am, and I like to go fast. You guys probably also noticed too, I wasn't giving her full beans. It's because I'm afraid of this thing. Also, my driveway is pretty uneven. I know how easily these can flip. My buddy Alex Perrick demonstrated that so, so eloquently. Anyway, let's get on with the day. Flags, they look beautiful. Comment down below if we should put a, a Guggen flag up here too. Just make it 100%. But uh, I think you and I need to go into town, grab some stuff at the pond. Let's get on with our mission. All right, the mission starts now. Pond restoration part, is this six? Six, seven. We've done a lot of these. Uh, we're at one of my favorite places to spend money, that being the Home Depot. And we're gonna go buy some, some different kind of structure today. You'll see, just come on with me. I need these. I have no place to put my socks. This isn't a part of the pond restoration. This is just me shopping. Think what I'm thinking? River rocks in the pond. Create a nice little rocky hump for that smallmouth that's living in there. You have to be careful about what you put in your pond. You can't just start throwing stuff in there. I think I said this before, but there's a lot of different rocks here. A couple of which you wanna stay away from. Anything that's like limestone, anything that's gonna mess with the alkalinity of the water. Listen to me, I sound like, I'm pretending like I'm a scientist. I don't know what I'm talking about. But one thing I do know, one thing I did get out of going to college is you wanna make sure you're putting the right stuff in your little ecosystem. So, I figured river rocks would be a good shot. There's no like sediment on these. It's not gonna gunk up the water. And um, they're from the river. So therefore they gotta be good, right? Is that how that works? I'm a go big or go home kind of guy. I mean, I, like, if I could, I would just grab this whole thing off the, maybe I can. <sighs> no, it's not budging. So we have rocks, let's see. How many bags do we have here? What's it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, is that it? We at least need seven. Looking good, looking very good. So I don't know if I wanna do like a rocky hump or a rocky beach, something to do with rocks in the pond. So the smallmouth will like, smallmouth love rocks, so that's, I'm basically doing this for the little smallmouth that we caught. He's gonna be so happy. Um, I like the looks of this, it's pretty freaking heavy though. So we got uh, three, or f sorry, five of these things which we learned are called elephant's feet. Very fitting. Um, do we get anything else though, dude? I'm just thinking, like I feel like that's kind of, it's like good, we got a lot, but I feel like it's kind of weak. We got five of these blocks, seven bags of, I also have some more of these at home. Um, if we had catfish, I don't even think Maine has like a strong population of catfish. There could be some in there, again, we don't know. I got no idea. I hardly doubt there's just one smallmouth in there. Maybe, maybe on down the road, if we do find this catfish, that would be sweet. Because catfish like to hide in the holes, like that's their thing. Good if we had a Texas pond. I think that's good for now. It's a good start. We can also even um, get some stuff off the land. I feel confident. Do you guys feel confident? We got some good structure for that little smaller jaw. Grand total. I'm gonna get the truck. What you know about rocks? Evidently not a whole lot. I'm making you nervous? A little bit. See, Alex, for the most part, Blackwell, the guy filming, is mostly a good influence, but it seems like every time we do one of these pond videos, he gets one of these, and I'm like, dude, it's disgusting. Like, you've got like creatine here. What the hell is BCAA amino acids? Coenzyme Q10. Sounds like a, a German exotic car. 300 milligrams, so it's the same as Bang. Jesus. Yeah, it tastes like literal Windex. I'm not saying I've ever had Windex before, but if I did, it probably would taste just like that. Hello. We are gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods, and, uh, well, you'll see. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. Meet you there. DSG. Welcome to Dick's. We're here to go get uh, a kayak, some sort of flotation device so that we can practically take the rocks out to the middle of the pond as opposed to just throwing one by one. That was kind of the issue we had with the last structure. We just kind of yeeted it into the Guggen Lagoon, but now that we're here at Dick's, we might as well pick up a little kayak, something cheap that we can transport all the all the goods in the pond. Mask on though. I, th I thought the, Let's go. the words were mask off. Mask on. 
Well, what do you know? Guess what? We just looked through all the aisles and they don't have any kayaks. Shout out to COVID once again. I'm assuming everyone's bought them all and they haven't gotten the shipment yet. Uh, oh, dude. <laughs> Hang on, I have an idea. I see something. This might be a saving grace. Whoa, okay. <laughs> but I don't like to see this. This is way too early. They've already got ice fishing stuff here at the Bangor Dick Sporting Goods. I mean, it's great. It's awesome. I love ice fishing, but like, this scares me. It's still summer. It's not even <laughs> September yet. And the water's what? And the water's degrees. 80 degrees. Yeah, uh, uh, we're a little far off from that, I think. Bro, this is way better than a kayak. A paddleboard? I thought it was a surfboard for a second. I'm like, oh, Peric's gonna like this. I was like, a pair, a pair could appreciate the aesthetic. It's almost a surfboard, you can't surf on it, but it's a paddleboard. This is what we're gonna get. We're gonna, this is actually perfect, because it's like, you know, you, you can put a lot of stuff on here and then just drop it in. Um, this paddleboard's about as big as the Guggen Lagoon, but it'll have to do. I wonder how much these are. Sweet, thanks for the help, man, no problem. You look like Peric. Yeah, man, I'm way cooler than Peric, though. Because you grabbed a sup? What? Because you grabbed a paddleboard instead of a surfboard? No, just because I'm not fair. I don't know what in the bougie I just bought, but when she rang me up, it was a hundred and what was it, $170? I bought cornhole. Okay, I gotta admit, I bought cornhole, it was $140. I bought bags for cornhole, or bago, whatever you Midwesterners or Southerners call it. What else did I buy? Uh paddle. Board, I, bought a, paddle? I bought a paddle, and then the paddleboard I guess was like what, probably six hundred dollars? Yeah. Probably should have checked the price before I swiped my card. Anyway, it's all worth it, right? It's for the Guggen Lagoon, man. We need a little, we need a little boat. Boat for the Guggen Lagoon. All about the aesthetic, guys. Ready to rip. Well, we made it back to camp. It's a little dusty. You definitely need some writing in your main. Hey, we bought a paddleboard. $700 paddleboard. <laughs> You're so good. You're such a good girl. Hey, Chief. I don't think so. <laughs> it's so easy to get her riled up. Lucky, hey, Lucky. Lucky, stay. Go get him. He's just like me. We're all wound up. We don't know what we're chasing, but we're chasing something. Okay, Wiener, stay right there. I'm gonna get the KM keys. We're gonna load all these rocks up in the in the mule. Bring it down to the Lagoon Lagoon. Why don't we just bring the forerunner? I mean we can. I mean, might as well, huh? Yeah, right? Yeah, at that rate. Everything's already why would the, <laughs> take everything out of one vehicle, put it in another. That's John B. Logic right there. Okay. <laughs> no the way! You can drive. I'm, I'm done driving. You can drive. Turn it. No, turn it more. This way. He's not a very good driver. You're not very good at driving. No, you're not. Oh, tree branch. That'll buff. He's so little. He's so little. Welcome to Guggen Lagoon. This is gonna be a fun project. We are actually running out of daylight right now, so I'm gonna try to speed this up, do it fast. As you know, this is my backyard pond. Over the course of a few months, we've been doing our best to restore it. What was that? Did you see that? Yeah, nobody touched anything. Nobody touched anything. Not a frog, way too big to be a frog. Like I said, I think there's more than smalls in here, but that's just my hypothesis. Anyway. We've restored the inflow, which helps kind of bring fresh water in here. We've put some minnows in here. Uh, we've trapped minnows. We've taken minnows out because there's too many minnows. I know it's contradictory, but now, today's the day that we build a nice little rocky beach or maybe a nice little rocky hump. I'm very excited for this one. It's gonna be fun. <clears throat> Doggo, what are you doing? She's gonna help restore pond today. Aren't you? You're a little pond restorer. First, I need to clean up my pond. It's like a freaking frat house down here. Because Peric Peric was fishing my pond for five days straight. How did he not go insane? My pond isn't even like 100 feet wide. This is when we pulled him across the... Yeah, you guys saw that video. That was fun. 
What do you think? Like, should we put the rock in the middle? Like, the, I'm talking about like the river rock. Should we put it in the middle or should we kind of like make a nice little rocky beach right here? I kind of like the sand here. You want to keep it the sand, you think? I think the sand looks good. I agree. Good for spawning too for the bass in there. So I'll just take a bunch of rocks out, put it in like a pile, create kind of like a point or a hump. Oh, look. Hey, you can go for a rip? Hang tent, little wiener. She's like, oh boy, here we go. She's like, what the hell? <laughs> She's like, give me off this thing. <laughs> All right, I could put the fin on, but I'm just so lazy. Well, at least take it off. Nah, I'll be fine. I can't. I gotta, oh yeah, it's screwed. I need to drill. What are the odds I just I eat it? You I haven't have really ever been on a paddle paddleboard before. Yeah, you have. Have I? When? Uh, remember Nantucket? Oh yeah. Yep. I was. That was a little different though. Yeah, you were paddling out into shark infested waters. Yes, I was. Now you're paddling out into. Smallmouth infested waters. There could be sharks in here. Bull sharks? They like freshwater, don't they? Here we go. Maybe you add uh, the rocks near the brush. Ah, good idea. Get a little leaky. Wish me luck, boys. I'm going in. Oh, oh. Too much weight. Way too much weight. I think this is probably the best spot for these rocks by the brush, that way you're just making like a mega piece of structure. Got the best of all the worlds. I'm literally just gonna yeet them into the water. You ready, friend? That didn't work. Don't know why I have these gloves on right now. I love the pond scene, man. Just such such chill vibes out here, man. Good vibes on the pond. Perrick brought all the chill vibes out here. Even though he stresses me out like 99% of the time. Kobe, just like that, we now have brush and rock. The best of both of the structure worlds when it comes to fishing in one little area. If there isn't a damn four pound smallmouth dragging its belly right there by tomorrow morning, I'll be damned. That's how parrot feels all the time. I feel like this whole video has just been like low key chirping parrot. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, Jesus, I'm weak. People actually think you're strong. Literally, no, I'm like SpongeBob in that one episode where he gets the fake muscles. These are just blow up muscles. Uh, Alex and I spooked something out on the dock. No way was it a frog, no way was it a turtle. Something with fins and big ones at that. So I'm thinking if we have a little guy living on the dock, we might as well, you know, put some rocks down there. What do you think? That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Just add some furniture to his already established home. Hopefully he likes rocks, because that's what he's getting. I just don't want to put all the rocks in like one place. I really want to kind of disperse them, make it, you know, just kind of diversify. You feel me? We still have a lot of rocks. I think about like... What, two more, more bags? No, four, bro. Hey. Get ready for football season? You want to see me throw this rock over that mountain? That wasn't over a mountain. Comment below if you know that reference. You know that reference? Hi. You want to see me throw this football off that mountain? Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, Napoleon Dynamite. Uncle Rico. You good? We chilling? That's what I thought. Did you give her some Adderall or something? What the hell are you doing? Going out to see. Oh god. I'm backwards. Put them in between the two. Ooh. Now I'm using my noodle. Use your noodle. Hey last words. Make good furniture for that small lake.
We salute you, little rock. Making nice little homes and habitats for the smelly jaws, or at least one smelly jaw that lives in my pond. I reckon there's probably more, but you just never know. Uh, oh, snap. I forgot we have those center blocks still. These joints are heavy. Are you filming for that? Kind of. Where did you say put it where in the big hole? Oh, you mean like right here? Yeah, sick. Well, I guess I'm getting wet. There's the structure right there. Oh. Didn't really anticipate doing that. Oh, too bright, too bright, too bright. <laughs> yeah, man. Sorry, I'm Nordic. I'm Swedish. Did you get any of that? I probably look so pathetic. My nipples are hard as a rock right now. It's freaking chilly down there. I could cut diamonds with these puppies. <laughs> are you Kazumi them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, SPF 100, you're looking at it. So go to the deep hole. I tried and then I fell in. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm gonna throw you in the pond. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. It's like using every ounce of energy not to just. The deep hole is like kinda, I guess it is right there. Scoot them together and literally just flip the paddle board. You know what I'm saying? So that way they all just get, you know. It makes sense in my head, okay? Just nod. You ready? We did it! <laughs> that worked. Oh. <laughs> I saw my paddle. Bottom line, it worked. That's all that matters in this scenario. <sighs> Pond restoration isn't easy. So what do you think, guy? I think we did a pretty good job. I agree. Should we bring Lucky out for the paddleboard? Yeah. Quick little rip. You'll go for You can go? You can go for a rip? Why am I out of breath? What's wrong with me? I feel like I just ran a marathon. Come on, wiener. We're about to get a soggy. We're about to be a soggy wiener. Mwah. Okay, it's okay. She likes it. Her tail's like tucked between her legs. She likes it. It's great. <laughs> it's okay, Beans. It's okay. We're just gonna go for a little tour on the pond. We'll be right back. We got uh, Captain Sloth Boy over here and second mate Wiener Dog. All right, you wanna see your swim? Come on, Beans. Get in the water. Go, 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 Beans, go. You're so fast. No, go to the land, girl. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> Why did you just go to the top? Oh, you're so the wiener. Dude, she looks psycho. <laughs> she looks like a little otter. She looks like a, a little, uh. Muskrat. Little disformed muskrat or otter. What's funny is, like, the back of her neck, look how it's sticking out, like, she's got a little mane. Oh, I love that dog. I say we did a due diligence here. You know, now that we know that they're small in here, I figured the best way to give them something they like is rock. Every time I'm fishing for small I'm fishing rock, rocky humps, rocky flats, points and such, things of that nature. We got a little wet, we bought a paddle board, and uh, yeah, it was just fun bringing you guys along with. Well, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for sticking with it and staying tuned and watching yet another pond restoration video. This was so much fun. Like I always say, drop a comment down below. Let us know what we should do to the Guggen Lagoon next and we'll make it happen. Appreciate the view and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. It's a lot cooler in my head. <laughs> I like instantly hit bottom.